প্রথমেই যাই দি অ্যালক পয়েন্টার ভেরিয়েবল নেম নিউ সাইজ ওকে নিউ সাইজ ইকুয়ালস টু পয়েন্টার ভেরিয়েবল নেম ওকে so the before using the dialog function the memory block to be resized should be allocated okay so you can write z alloc okay what is the pointer variable name here tell me what is the pointer variable name মেমোরি ফর টেন এলিমেন্ট নু অ্যালোকেট এ মেমোরি ফর টোয়েন্টি এলিমেন্ট দিস ইজ দ্য ফাংশন ওকে so this that this is the uh, that is the difference between variable array and um, malloc or calloc function because malloc and calloc these are dynamically memory allocation so at the run time we allocate the memory so that means later we can change the size of the memory later we can change the size of the memory previously a, the assigned uh, block is 40 bytes now how many bytes is allocated 20 into 4 total 80 bytes allocated so within the program we can realloc or we can resize the memory block using realloc function okay any question no sir okay now today we discuss structure okay. what is the syntax or uh, why we use structure we can use a defined data type which shows multiple type uh, it is uh, nothing uh, but user defined it is nothing but user defined data type okay it is nothing but user defined data type suppose we declare int a so a is a variable which is integer type this int it is a primitive data type and a is a variable so like primitive data type in float char using this primitive data type okay we want to create our own data type okay we want to create our own data type using structure why because if we declare an array it can store only it can store only similar type of data or if we declare one variable it can store only one data but if you want to store multiple type of data at a one place suppose one student name which is string roll number which is integer age which is integer cgpa which is uh, float you want to store okay so the you want to store the data of multiple types then we declare structure okay so this is used to design our user defined data type okay user defined data type so first how to write so first we use the keyword struct okay we need use the uh, keyword struct then the um, our data type name 
suppose you want to store the student details so you want to create a data we want to create a structure the structure name is student you want to create a user defined data type that user defined data type name is student okay it contain this contain name then roll number then suppose uh, marks so here we create our own data type what is the name of the data type name of the data type is student and this data type contain three members so these are called members of the structure okay these are called members so using three members we create our own data type which is the name is student like int int is a primitive data type similarly we create our own data type is student and it contain three members and name which is character type array roll number which is integer type variable and marks which is floating type variable so that means you can see okay now to declare a variable a suppose a is a variable which is integer type that means a variable can store only integer type of data now we want to create our own variable we can create a variable which is struct student type okay so within the main function you can write first the data type name what is the data type name struct student suppose the variable name is s1 like a is a variable which is integer type similarly here s1 is a variable which is struct student type okay so a variable occupy some space how many space it's occupied by a variable a variable is integer type so it has some address and it's occupied for byte of memory space okay similarly this is our s1 variable it has some address so this s1 variable there is three data members 1 2 3 these are for name this block for roll number and this block for marks okay this blocks for marks and the address is suppose 200 now size of a variable is 4 bytes why because a it is an integer type variable now tell me what is the size of s1 variable what is the size of s1 variable are you getting my point hello yes, hello sir. yes, yes. Sir. Can you store so the size of a? A is an integer type variable. To store any value, it's occupy four bytes. An integer value. Suppose you want to store. So when you declare a variable, after that when you compile the program, then a variable occupy four byte of memory into our primary memory or RAM. Similarly, S1 is a variable which is struct student type. So what is the size of S1 variable? S1 variable also occupy some space into our primary memory or ram so what is the size of s1 variable s1 variable size is total so size you can see s1 variable store name s1 variable store also the roll number s1 variable also to store the marks so what is the size of s1 variable 
the memory required to store the name plus memory required to store the roll number plus memory required to store the marks so here to store the name how many byte is required 20 byte to store of the 20 to store the name roll number how many byte is required roll number is integer type to store roll number 4 byte is required this 4 plus marks to store the marks uh, <coughs> how many byte is required marks is floating top uh, point type it is also 4 byte so total 28 byte so if you print the size of s1 if you print percentage d comma size of s1 it will print 28 bytes okay is it clear to everyone yes sir okay now we declared this variable either we can de always we declare structure or user defined data type outside any function remember always define any user defined data type outside any function here we define the student data type outside the main function second one if we declare we can declare suppose s1 s2 two variable so here also we can declare s1 comma s2 okay then semicolon so this is one of the way s1 s2 both these two are variable of stack student type or what we can do or what we can do we can put here semicolon then here we can declare s1 comma s2 okay so we declare two variable okay like int a comma b so a and b both are integer type variable similarly s1 and s2 both are stack student type variable now you can say sir stack student is very large name can we sort this name okay like int very small float care very little very good name okay sweet name so can we minimize this yes so that's why hash type def t y p e d e f type def struct student suppose your uh, stu okay so stu is similar like stack student okay so we need to write this one type def t y p e t e f type def using this keyword we can minimize a large name into a small so stack student now is stu so what is the name of our data type the name of our data type is stu so here we can write stu s1 comma s2 okay means s1 and s2 both are variable which type stu type so this this is also s1 and s2 variable of stack student type so we can minimize this whole name as a stu both are same so here also s1 s2 is a variable of stu type now so this is my s1 variable s1 variable there are name roll number so this is name here roll number and here marks now we want to store the name roll number of marks here how to store using dot operator so you need to write scan if suppose you want to store the name so you uh, 
so name is a string type so to uh, take the value from keyboard what function you need to use get s get s what is the variable name s1 s1 variable where you want to store the data suppose yeah. your name is amit okay so where you want to store the data at name me data member okay because s1 variable s1 is a start student type and s1 variable contain three data members name roll number and marks name roll number and marks okay so we want to store s1 variable l name data member value so s1 dot name so here we use dot operator similarly so when we use get s then ampersand is not required now we want to insert the roll number suppose 30 okay where we store s1 variable roll number how to store ampersand s1 dot roll number okay so this is our s1 variable suppose their address is 200 okay so 200 to store name it occupy 20 bytes so 200 20 is the address of roll number roll number is the integer type uh, variable means integer type data member roll number so it, to store any integer value we required four bytes so what is the address of marks 2 to 4 so these are the address of s1 variable s1 variable here roll number name name is 20 bytes here you can see the name it's occupied 20 bytes so each location one byte so 200 plus 2 20 means 219 is the last address from 200 to 219 right next 220 is the address of roll number so roll number occupied 220 221 223 uh, 222 and 223 so this four byte occupied from 220 to 223 this four byte occupied by roll number next what is the address of marks 2 to 4 okay so where you store this value 30 how user know about this so that's why we need to pass the address within scanf we need to pass the address so what is the address of this member s1 dot roll number ampersand means address of s1 variable roll number member s1 variable roll number member address is 220 so here we pass the address then user enter the value 30 30 stored here up to this clear any question any doubt this is very very important for entire data structure lab and means theory also any question no sir okay so up to this clear now tell me how to store the marks percentage of percentage a because it's floating point float value s1 dot marks marks so s1 variable marks data member address is 224 so user enter user so scan a function here we provide the 224 so compile i can understand okay i have to uh, store one um, um, floating type value where in this address within scanf when we write scanf function simple scanf function we provide actually the address means where we store so when compiler read this line then compiler can understand okay i have to store one floating point value and where we store this address of 
S1 variable marks data member. So this is our S1 variable. What is the marks data member? He is. What is the address? 224. So we use that scanf function. Using scanf function, uh, we are providing 224. Now user enter suppose 50. 80.96 so it's stored here 80.96 now we want to similarly if you want to store the name our name roll number suppose this is s2 variable okay it has some address suppose 300 320 and 324 okay now here we want to store the name how to store ampersand ampersand s2 dot name okay s2 dot name suppose uh, orpita okay we store orpita here where in this name but then we have to use this scan of now for the name because uh, yes in scan it this is i'm not going to strike all okay or you can use it's better to use so get get as function okay yes. it is better to use get as function to store any string or to print any string it is better to use get as and put as function so here we write get s s2 dot name okay now here we put all Peter. now here the roll number we want to put the roll number s2 variable roll number data member here we want to store suppose any value how to store scan f percentage d comma ampersand s2 variable which data member value roll number so s2 variable roll number address is 320 here we provide the address 320 address of s2 variable roll number data member s2 variable roll number data member address is 320 so here we provide any value suppose 19 so 19 is the address okay 19 is the value roll number value now marks we want to insert marks here how to insert marks scan f percentage f comma ampersand where s2 variable marks data member okay so where is insert the data marks data member of s2 variable address so s2 variable marks data member address is 324 so here we provide the address 324 then where uh, uh, sorry here we provide the address 324 now we enter the marks in this location 324 suppose uh, 60.86 we insert the marks here now if we print how to print print f percentage d s1 dot roll number so that time for uh, ampersand is not required s1 dot roll number what is the value 30 so here we print 30 we want to print s1 variable roll number data member so s1 variable roll number data member value is 30 it's been 30 if we write put s s1 dot name okay s1 dot name so put s print the name of s1 data member name s1 variable name data member s1 variable name data member value is omit so here we print omit if we write s2 dot name put s s2 dot name what is the value 
orbita if we write scan a percentage d if we write scan a percentage d s2 dot roll number s2 dot roll number so s2 variable roll number data member s2 variable roll number data member value is 19 it will print 19 any question any doubt how to store the value into each variable data member and how to access the value from each variable data member any doubt any question any doubt please ask no sir other students i want to listen from everyone hello yes sir no doubt okay now suppose we declare int a 10 so what is the meaning a is a variable a, a, a is it is an integer type array which can store maximum 10 integer type value now if we write struct student like integer struct student is our variable name name data type name now if we write std std the name of the array and here we write suppose 10 so what is the meaning you can compare a is a it is a it is an array std it is an array a variable can store integer type value std variable can store only struct student type value and it can store maximum 10 integer type value it can store maximum 10 struct student type value that means it's occupy So this is zero one index. So this is my std array. What is the last index? Is nine. Okay, and and each index there are three data members. Okay, so the each there is name, roll number. and marks similarly here name roll number and marks okay so to store one value how many byte is required 28 bytes okay so the suppose the starting address is 100 what is the address of std1 Under twenty-eight, yes or no? Because to store roll num, to store name twenty bytes is required. To store roll number four byte is required. To store marks four byte is required. So total one twenty-eight uh, byte is required. And starting address is hundred. Each location used to store only one byte. To store all these three data required. what is the address 100 to 127 so what is the address of here 128 okay because we know the starting address is called the base address okay now how to store the value at std 0 how to store the value we can store the value like this std array zeroth index dot name suppose sahil okay so 
std array the name of the array you can see how to store the value with the index at a0 okay at a0 location we enter the value similarly here we enter only one value but in zeroth index we store the name also roll number of also marks so zeroth index indicates suppose one student one index indicate the another student two index indicate another student like this so here a std array zeroth index so this one the zeroth index here name data member we store the value at name data member suppose if we write std array zeroth index roll number dot roll number equals to suppose 29 so here we assign the value 29 here we assign the value sahil okay similarly how to insert the marks std array zeroth index here we insert the value marks equals to 30.86 so here we insert the marks 30.86 so in this way we can store the data and also we can retrieve the data okay so here we can you can see so in this example you can see we declare a data type what is the name of the data type book okay now this data type contain how many data members three data, four data members title author subject and book id and what is book book is a variable okay now similarly we create another variable book one which is start book type okay book one which is start book type now we uh, and another variable book two which is also start books type now book one dot title book two dot book id okay so using dot operator we can assign the value now union union is also a derived type as structure but here you can see same like instead of structure we write union the, the data type name is data here we assign the value i f assign this variable i f and str so using this three variable i integer type variable a floating type variable and str array we create a data type name is data and data is a variable of data type so you can see okay here you need to write union union data then data okay but there is some difference what are the difference okay here how many byte is required to store how many byte is required suppose you declare a very uh, data type student so what is the size of this data type so the combination of all data member data type yes to store roll number 9 is 4 by 4 plus 1 plus 4 uh, sorry to, uh, to store integer suppose here uh, it's required 2 byte suppose it's required to store one integer value it's required 2 bytes of data so 2 plus 1 3 plus 4 7 but so s1 variable if you declare s1 variable s1 variable occupy this seven bytes okay total seven byte to store roll number gender and marks so here s1 variable used to store roll number gender and marks so roll number is two bytes gender is one bytes and marks is four bytes so please listen my word at a time okay at a time we can store the roll number of any student the gender of the student suppose male or female m or f and the marks of the student okay because it's allocate total seven bytes but for union union is not same as structure it's occupy the highest number of bytes 
to store integer value we required two bytes to store character it is required one byte to store any marks it is required four byte float four byte so total uh, what is the maximum size maximum size is float four bytes so union if we declare a variable s1 of student type then s1 variable occupy only four bytes so can we accommodate name roll roll number gender marks within this four byte no sir because to store roll number gender marks it is required total seven byte but to store roll number gender marks at four within four byte is it possible no so that's why at a time we can store only roll number or gender or marks okay at a time we can store roll number or gender or marks suppose here if we use structure then roll num s1 dot roll number 20 s1 dot marks 90 now if we print s1 dot roll number it will print 20 because for structure there is no problem there is own space roll number stored here gender stored here mark stored here but when you use union so s1 dot roll number 20 now s1 dot marks equals to 90 to store marks 9 4 byte required and total size is 4 byte so previously we store roll number which is 20 20 it's occupied 2 bytes now we want to store marks for to store marks we required four bytes so this previous this space omitted by the next one so roll number um, uh, suppressed by this value marks so if we want to print s1 dot roll number it will show erroneous output it will show erroneous output why because previously stored here 20 here now we want to store 90 marks the to store min min uh, marks 90 it's it's required four bytes okay so kya karega marks delete this roll number okay so roll number deleted now this s1 space occupied by this marks 90.0 now if you want to print s1 dot roll number s1 dot roll number deleted by marks so how do you get the value so that's why it will show the erroneous output it will show the erroneous output any problem what is the difference between structure and union do you have any problem yes, so can you explain this one so i didn't understand sir which one uh, so the no sir the difference one sir huh do you understand this one Yes, sir. I got it, sir. Okay. So here, what is the total size? Four bytes. S one dot roll number. Okay, equals to twenty. So twenty stored where? Using this two byte. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we want to store ninety. To store ninety, how many byte is required? Ninety point zero is max. to store marks how many byte is required four four previously here we stored 20 now this two two block already we have used now we want to store marks to store marks we required this four block so we need to delete this one yes or yes. no yes sir we have to delete this one yes sir okay so that's why when we write s1 dot marks okay then previous one will be deleted okay then previous one will be deleted so then what is the use of union in the in which case it is used if you want to use at a time we want to store only one data then you can use so previously this is suppose roll number so here we store 20 now you want to store 90 to store 90 we required four byte this four block we need required so we need to omit this two 20 and store 90.0 okay 
So at a time if you want to store only one value, then why are we going for structure? Okay, why are we going for structure? Because structure occupied a large space. If you want to store all the value at a time, then only we use structure. But if we want at a time, if you want to store either roll number or gender or marks, okay, then we use union. Then but we use. Memory, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. In a uh, in a structure, the memory uh, memory exhaustion will be less, no? Memory. Sir, the wastage of the memory will be less, no? In a structure. How? Sir, if you take a structure as a means a student or employee, and uh, if you want only roll number, so it will take only two bytes. And if yes. you take this in a uh, roll number, it will take. And if there are the four bytes, then it will take four bytes, and uh, means uh, it will take the bigger one now. How many space allocated by the structure? Sir, the combination of all. Total all seven bytes. Yeah, according to this uh, diagram. Total seven bytes. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, but here, how many bytes is allocated? Sir, four. So which one is less? But sir, the uh, means uh, uh, variable uh, means variables are more. No? Why variables are more? This is so there is also three yes, variable. Sir. There is also three variable. Okay, sir. Got it, sir. Now, if you want to ask another any, any another question, please ask. Means anything else? No, sir. Clear, sir. No, no. I think your doubt is not clear till now. Please tell me. Ask me. No, sir. I am just asking that uh, if we want only the means structure, me. Kewal, agar ek variable lete hain, to un, uska to kewal utne byte ka hi hoga. Ek variable lete hain, to matlab kaun sa variable? Is that the answer? Sir, please tell me. अगर मार्क्स लेते हैं तो फोर बाइट ही होंगे हाँ और इसमें अगर मतलब अगर कोई वेरिएबल तो दोनों का सर तो एक ही जैसा होगा ना सर इसमें लेस कहाँ से होगा सर उसमें तो डेटा जो होगे वो क्लियर हो जाएंगे प्रीवियस डेटा जो होंगे हाँ हाँ तो सर टोटल मेमोरी जब अगर कोई में तो एक अब स्ट्रक्चर यूनियन कब तुम्हारा होगा बोलो तो जब वेन वी एग्जीक्यूट द प्रोग्राम ओके व्हेन इट ओपन द प्रोग्राम देन ऑक्युपाई द मेमोरी यस और नो फर्स्ट यू टेल मी यस सर ओके तो इफ वी डिक्लेअर अ वेरिएबल s1 व्हिच इज स्ट्रक्चर टाइप एंड कंपाइल देन 7 बाइट एलोकेट यस और नो हां यस सर बट इफ वी यूज यूनियन हाउ मेनी बाइट्स एलोकेट 4 बाइट्स सो व्हिच वन इज लेसर यूनियन वन देन एट अ टाइम यूनियन कैन स्टोर ओनली वन वैल्यू And it's occupied the largest. Here, roll number required two bytes, gender required one byte, marks required four bytes. So, which one is largest? Marks, because it is float. So that's why it's allocate four byte of memory. Okay, so okay. here it is allocate seven byte total total number. It's count mm -hmm. total two plus one, three plus four, seven. Okay, but here. It's che checking between these three. Which one is largest? Two, one, four. Which one is largest? Four. So it's mm -hmm. occupy only the largest size. In this largest size, at a time we can store only either roll number or we can store roll number and gender. But we cannot store roll number, gender, and mm, marks at a time because oh, sir, the okay, size sir. is four byte. And sir, this will free up the space of the earlier one, you know. So space will free, will it? No, if byte is more than that. No, no. If you stop the program, then it will automatically free the space. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Okay. So next class we'll discuss uh, some few topics. Okay, like uh, pointer to structure, which is very 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 important. When you design pro pro program, okay, like linked list or 
tree or graph this pointer to structure is important okay so if you don't understand uh, understood anything please tell me okay it is my request from my side please tell me otherwise you don't able to understand anything in the data structure okay so you know array you know pointer now you start structure so please write some program related to this array pointer and structure okay and this subject is very very important for job internship okay any um, exam like gate or any drdo exam or isro exam for any type you can see in some questions from data structure is there so yes i have a question so so what is edt so abstract data type so it is given in the book so yes yes till now i have not completed okay okay sir so but it is given in the first chapter and uh, on the yes, first yes yes i will definitely i will complete. okay sir okay sir because this concept are important for your lab because someone others means other madam is taking your lab okay so it is very difficult to synchronize so that's why first i have covered all the lab related um, uh, sub topic like array structure pointer and all then we then go to this uh, abstract data type time complexity and all so madam can start their lab accordingly okay sir thank you so okay so that is the problem of synchronization okay mm. well, number 101 seven go 119 dei prasad One four eight, present sir. Okay, one six five, present sir. One six eight, Tushar Sahu. Two zero five, zero seven, present sir. Two one three, present sir. Two two seven. Rohan Narayan two two seven two two nine present sir two nine four Priyanshu Raj three one eight present sir three two zero Suti Guha three five three present sir. G four seven nine. Ravi Tiwari. Four nine one. Sivani Basa. Five six seven. Yes sir. Five seven five. Sarthak Pandey. Five six five one. Present sir. Six six zero. Present sir. Six seven eight. Swetha Kumari. Seven nine eight. Present sir. Five eight two nine. Present sir. Eight one one. Present sir. Eight one four. Priyus Raj. Eight one four. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Present. Eight one five. Present, sir. Eight one seven. Present, sir. Eight two five. Present, sir. Eight three two. Eight five three. Present, sir. 